is some good music. I'm digging this. Oh yeah, look at this awesome menu. Listen to the music. What's up guys, I'm Dylan, and I'm joined here today by also Dylan. <laughs> um, <laughs> God, no one's gonna laugh at that. Anyway, uh, so I just bought this game. It looks pretty neat. Called Iconoclasts, uh, developed by a dude named Joachim Sandberg, better known by the name Konjak. Published by Bitfrost Entertainment. It actually released today, uh, today when I'm making this, not today when you're watching, because Lord knows when you're watching this. Um, <clears throat> but today for me is January 23rd, 2018. Uh, this is available on PC, Mac, Linux, PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita. Uh, dear God, I hope there's a Nintendo Switch version eventually. It is a whopping $20 on all of those platforms. So, I I generally know how this game plays. You guys don't. Let's hop in. I'm just going to give you a sneak peek of maybe the first yeah, 20 minutes or so of the game. This isn't going to be like a Let's Play series or anything. N nothing like that. This is just... Uh, when I've seen, this game looks really cool, and I kind of want to show it off. And maybe I'll talk and make jokes with that. I, I don't know. Oh god, this is gorgeous. Kind of reminds me of Owlboy. I mean, not exactly, but... Okay. So you've got kind of a short hop. Higher hop if you hold in the jump button. Oh god, that music. Okay. you're supposed to go this way. I kind of want to go the other way. No. Okay, so doors are shut. I know, just from previews and stuff, my character's name is Robin. Uh, she's a mechanic. She gets a wrench, which I'm assuming is how I'm going to open that door, because there's a, kind of a little circle there. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, so it looks like there's not, it's not a full, like, 360 degree aiming system. It, uh, it, there, there's some aim assist there. Uh, I generally just aim left, right, up, or down, and it will, like that. I'm, I'm, I'm not actually pressing on the stick. I'm just looking over, and it does the rest for me. So that's kind of cool. That's, uh, that's a really unique take on aiming in Metroidvanias, and something that I, as someone who didn't play Super Metroid when they were like four years old, something I always kind of struggle with is, is aiming in the heat of the moment. So, I mean, as you can see there, I can't, I can't even walk and shoot, so... Uh, is that... Um, yeah, hold, okay. Nice, okay. Okay. I've also got kind of a heat button I can use... Not heat button, heat bar. I can use that to uh, propel myself in the air just a teensy bit, it looks like. This is a key. Oh, so there's... Is there an inventory system, I'm wondering? But that, that's kind of cool. You've got like a Super Mario Bros. 2, like, carry the key on your head kind of style going on there. Crouch walk. Good old Crash Bandicoot days right there. Crouch walking under some boxes. A lot faster than Crash ever was, though. Oh, God! Okay. Oh, this is a hole. Nice. What have I done? Robin, what did you do? Okay. Yep, see, I, I, so right there, when when she was just aiming all over the place, I wasn't actually... Dylan was not hitting any buttons other than the square to shoot. But the game said Dylan wants to aim up and shoot this man, so it aimed up for me. And I'm, I'm pretty grateful. I wonder if there is... I'll have to check in a second to see if there are any ways to turn that off, because I know there are probably some 
like control purists <coughs> that would uh love to you know aim themselves not have the game aim for them it's a lot harder to talk to this than you'd think but I just, I can't stress enough how much I'm really loving this art style, though. And the, the sound design is fantastic. Like, I don't know if you guys are listening to this with headphones, but you really need to be. Actually, I don't even know how loud the music will be for you. Okay, yeah, now they're gonna teach me to crawl. I'm not stupid. Maybe I am stupid, I don't know. Oh, these are like metal plated, so I'm assuming I can't, yeah, can't get, get through. Oh, okay, back to the beginning. Uh, I thought there was something past that house that I fell into. Uh, so I'm gonna run back. It's not that far. Oh my god. running through here. I don't, I don't care about taking damage right now. No, there's, there's not anything else. I mean, there's a little, it's like a wrench dot right there. Maybe you can swing on these things. I don't, I don't know. I just know there is a wrench. I probably shouldn't you know, just talk about things I don't don't know anything about, but that's kind of the state of the world nowadays, isn't it? Oh, a heart pickup. That's nice. That's uh, definitely something I'm thankful for so far, is it seems like the game is super generous with uh, health. Like, I'm not losing a ton of it, even when I was... Uh, Getting, getting my butt handed to me in that boss fight. Black and white, okay. Yep, yeah, Robin, I'm oh, 17. Hmm. Daughter of Polro. is a sin. Oh, okay, so apparently jobs aren't allowed, and I also can't fix things. He, the Almighty, is like secrets. The secret here is that I don't actually know what you guys are talking about. Okay, so this is, <laughs> this storyline is a little darker than I thought it'd be. It's like a Weird utopia gone wrong. Jeez. This dude's a little harsh. He's been spotted. I don't know who he is. I just realized I... I I know I can read through that text, and I'm not going to do the the weird thing where I, like, read it out loud. Uh, so I hope you guys saw what's going on there. 
Basically, apparently my dad was a mechanic too, and he died and left me his wrench. And they're there looking for it. I'm not allowed to be doing this. And yeah. Oh, there. That is rad. Look at that animation. All right. Yeah. Look at this. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. This is uh, a little complicated to use. So, hmm. Don't know what the hitbox is on this exactly. There we go. Okay, I, I have no clue. Okay. Um. Just going through things I discovered in the past three seconds. Uh. Left trigger can also be the down button, so you can crouch and go indoors like that. Same thing with uh, left bumper. Uh, right bumper can be shoot. And then uh, right trigger can be your wrench. So, down. Okay, I think. I think I already read through some of these. Oh, that is awesome! I'm finding more and more excuses to just fall in love with this game. That is so, so, a uh, little turtle man? I'm assuming I couldn't just shoot him normally, I have to like ground pound on him. Get him to flip over, show his tummy. Wait, hold on, what? Oh, I can hit things with it, that's, that's all it's telling me. Nice! Love it! Wait, uh, no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you the next time. Okay, let's see if I can just whack this guy. No, I, I have to uh, use X. So they're already introducing some pretty weird enemies where I have to do some neat things just to uh, just to get them out of here. Okay. <laughs> so I I actually have to like press down for each wrench turn. That's I'm liking that. I'm wondering how difficult this game's actually gonna get, because so far it's it's really not that tough. I mean the boss fight I kinda did not do well there, but that's basically because I'm me and not because the game's actually hard. Hold on. Okay, I, I don't really know how I'm doing the swinging thing, but I am. Whoa. Okay, that's odd. Oh, I had to do that to get out. Never mind. I didn't even notice that door was shut until just then. So how do I get this treasure chest, though? Okay. 
I know there's an upgrade system in this game to something like, I think they're called tweaks. Let me see here, tools, uh, collection maybe? No, I, they're, they're not even popping up for me right now. Uh, basically tweaks can just alter gameplay, like give you more health or uh, make your wrench a little stronger. Uh, but they really only, you have to like collect these little bit looking diggly doos just to get them to activate. And then you lose those diddly doos when you lose health. So, it's kind of a risk reward system. I guess that might be a little difficult to come in, is trying to keep us upgrades powered up. Not losing health. Come on, buddy. I can take it. I can take it. I'll take you any day. We we'll go Red Lobster? We'll go Red Lobster, buddy. I don't, know. I don't care. No! Do I have to... Okay, you gotta hit, like, his backside, I think. Alright. I might, I might need to just stream this game at some point. This is really... I'm digging it. I think I've used the word digging probably like seven times in this, this little sneak peek so far, but oh well. Can't shoot on ladders though, that's interesting. Just this little uh, Metroidvania game. I mean, if you don't like the term Metroidvania, we'll call it an action platformer. That's really up to you, though. Alright, so I'm gonna get back up there somehow. Colorful. The music is fantastic. I'm not good at it, but you know, it already holds a special place in my heart. I think all my friends know that I'm I'm in love with indies, though. I'm a sucker for a, a not just any pixel art style. It's got to be a good pixel art style, and this is definitely that. Technium. Don't know what that is. Gotta be worth it though, right? I'm just backtrack through the whole level. Settlement 17. This is gonna be fun, mate. The wrench is probably my uh, only complaint so far. It's not... It doesn't always work out that well. Time to give me a new. Okay, so some keys are ones that you don't have to carry around. Settlement 17. 
save. So I'm walking this church, see what's in here. There's an old dude, this is the best game ever. Yawn. Yawn the old man. Control the shape of our world. <clears throat> Must be a hint about something. One of the main characters probably is is one of those descendants, I guess. Ivory. Energy that enables all technology. Huh. So this storyline goes a lot deeper than I figured it would. I kind of thought this was just going to be like a, a cheerful little Metroidvania action platformer thing, but apparently not. This dude looks cool. Nope. Not cool at all. Betrayed me. Okay guys, I think that's it for the day. Um, let me know if you like this, or if you want to see them for other games, like this, this style of video. Uh, maybe if I need to do less jokes, more jokes, talk more, talk less. Uh, kind of feel uncomfortable talking on my own, just kind of whispering into the void. But you know what, if you guys liked it, I'll do it again. And by you guys, I know I'm probably talking to like one of my ten friends, but... Um, Anyway, this is Iconoclasts, uh, like I said, out on PC, Linux, uh, Mac, PS4, Vita, it's 20 bucks, and I'm really enjoying it so far, and I think if you like it, you should really hop on the bandwagon with this one as quickly as you can, and if you don't like it, you've got a pretty bad taste in games, and I really shouldn't be friends with you if I'm already friends with you, but... I'll keep you anyway, because that's what friends are for. But also, friends play Iconoclasts when other friends, you know, tell them to. So, uh, you know what? You guys have a great day. See you later.